so I wanted to demonstrate this thing in action. Um, so I have sort of improvised up a little little thing here to demonstrate it working. Uh, hopefully I have the tubes in the right positions and the polarity correct and everything, but if the polarity is wrong I can always swap it. So I have a, a very powerful uh, UV LED here, and then I have some water with some UV reactive dye in it, which I've uh, shown off in a previous post bag. But if I turn this pump on, it's going in the wrong direction. So, uh, I'm just going to reverse the polarity of the leads on power supply and do it that way. Oh no, I had it right the first time. Oh, poopeth. Well, let's swap these back around. Alright, so um, I'm going to reposition the POED a little bit here. Something is smelling very warm. Not too sure why. But if I take this out, we can see the UV dye dripping out of that as it's being pumped out of this cup and into there. So it's definitely working. Um, I'm getting a lot of ozone. Where am I getting so much ozone from? Jeez. Um, it's probably coming from the motor, which I'm not overdriving. It's just weird. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show the peristaltic pump in action. Um, it doesn't seem to move a tremendous amount of fluid, which means that my idea of using it for the deep fryer may not be overly practical, because, uh, there's not a lot of fluid moving through that tube at the moment. Although if I put it up to, let's see, three one and a half volt cells is four and a half volts, so... Yeah, that's four and a half volts going through that. It's starting to get pretty noisy, sorry folks. Um, and a very, very strong scent of ozone. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's the peristaltic pump in action. Just thought I'd show that off real quick.